is on C Rock Fury. As you're all well aware, we lost an incredible entertainer, incredible musician, incredible singer, incredible visionary, Michael Jackson. Growing up listening to him, man, everybody's somewhere in their life, some of, some of Michael Jackson's song or imitate him in some type of way. Um, very talented individual. And like I said, you, you rarely get a cat like that once in a lifetime, man. You know, you got, you got incredible performers out there now, I'm not taking it away from them. But Michael Jackson was, um, was exceptional. Was exceptional. It was incredible. And um, it was a real crazy day. You know, we, we also lost, we lost Farrell Fawcett, you know, Charlie's Angels, you know, cats on remember, they might remember the symbol when they got the guns like that, you know, the three girls in silhouette, that's Charlie's Angels, and it's kind of messed up, it's almost like she got gypped out of even dying, because Michael Jackson death overshadowed somebody as big as her, you know, and um, it's just, it's just, it's just kind of crazy, man. What's even more crazy about it is um, the situation with the doctor. I don't know if y'all been watching the news and stuff, but like on, 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 on CNN and so forth, man, they, they played the 911 call, and um, there was a doctor on the premises at the crib or whatnot, um, I guess, the medication and stuff. And when they was asking for the doctor's name, they, they didn't say the name, and didn't say what he was using and stuff. So now, because of all of that, there might be some foul play involved. I'm not saying that it is, but it's definitely suspect. It's definitely suspect on, on, on something like that to happen. You know? Nobody knew who the doctor was. Nobody knew given what. Nobody even knew that what, what he was on. And um, a close friend of the family said that, man, that certain doctors, certain people were isolating him because they were giving him pills and stuff. And he said something that's kind of interesting, too. He said that, um, I mean, there was, there was another guy um, up on, um, on CNN, and he said that, like, a lot of these people in Hollywood are getting prescriptions and medication from the quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote, legal doctors that give prescriptions like drug dealers. So basically, he's calling them a drug, drug dealer with a degree, a legal degree, to issue drugs. And he also said that the biggest crime in the world isn't illegal drugs, but legal drugs given by doctors who give prescriptions. And these musicians or actors or performers, they get attached to them. So they're not only their doctors, they're their dealers, they're pushers, so to speak. But, you know, it's critically you know, incorrect. But um, it's, a, it's, it's a crazy situation, man. Stay away from the drugs if you can, man. You know, try to live life on a positive level, man. Try to do things healthy, the you know, fruits and vegetables. Keep yourself healthy. These drugs, man, it's killing you. Man. Look what they're doing. They're taking cats like, like microwave that could have easily lived another 20 some years. You know, another 20 years. Easy. And, you know, just, it's just crazy, man. Let me tell you something else. Um, that, uh, my, my boy, my boy, um, Kevin Kev, aka Von Zip the Driver. He, he, he said something that kind of went over my head. He said, you know, he said a lot of a lot of big artists died on the 25th. You know, like Aaliyah, she died on the 25th. James Brown died on the 25th. Uh, who else? Um, Roger Troutman, I think. Roger Zad died on the 25th. There's, um, there's another artist, too. I forgot his name that died on the 25th. But um, it's, it was quite a few. Maybe it, if you get a moment, you can Google it and Google um, artists that died on the 25th. You'd be surprised. You see quite a few. I'm not saying that it means anything. It's just it's weird, you know. But um, just wanted to give you know a little V blog on YouTube. I know I'm not the only one. Millions and millions are doing it. But I just want to put in my little input on things, man. That's what to say. Give my condolences to the Jackson family, man. And also thank them for all the beautiful music that we've all been getting since we was little kids, man. Little kids. 
getting good music like that, man. You know, doing the moonwalking and all that stuff was some of the wildest things we ever saw, man. He put, they already thought he was spaced out. When he started doing moonwalking stuff, man, we like, what? Yeah, nah, he ain't just do that, man. It was uh, it's not some, like, camera effect or something, man. And they didn't really have camera effects back then. <laughs> I like, like, like they do now. But, um, Michael was stepping up a notch. And, um, it just comes to show what a true artist is, you know? He put in, he put a lot into his lyrics, put a lot to the music. You felt the Michael Jackson song. Which is why I'll be emphasizing today about some of the new generation cats that don't put as much heart and effort into music. You know, they, they, they hide behind these machines and these vocorders and stuff. And and they talk about a lot of nothing. You know, it's time to time to start putting some content, some real content back in music, man. You know, people not really buying records no more, man, because music is just you know, it's going down, man. It's going downhill like shoo. You know, the slope just sucks. You know, you can count on your hands the good music that's out. And, and, and some of the stuff that's out is redundant. It's, it's how it played out. Or it's, it's, it's what I call the soup of the day. You know? So when somebody come out with a hit song and everybody jump on the bandwagon and start doing that. Some help them, they came with a, a, a certain concept. But then watch, a hundred thousand other people follow the same concept. You know? Nobody really spoke on the on, 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 on the um you know the vocal thing until you know um, until Jay Z did it. But it took somebody like Jay Z and Jay Z's level for people to recognize what he was trying to say. So I'm glad he, he you know that he said what he said. I'm telling all your artists out there now, man. You know music and hip hop. This is just not something that we do, man. You know this is this is something that we. That we live, like KRS One said. So you know, it's like you gotta, you gotta respect it. You know, and cats is disrespecting the game just by putting out quality garbage. Quality garbage. Notice what I said. Quality garbage. Quality because it's played on the radio all the time, so it's quote unquote quality, but it's garbage underneath. You know, we we know what it is under the surface, and they mask it. You know. People get brainwashed. The more people hear something on the radio, they, they assume it has to be good. You have to buy it because it's being played. The fact is, it's garbage. You have a lot of credible, talented artists out there that's not getting the shine that they deserve. The simple fact that they don't, they don't have the money or the forum to do that. You know, I encourage the new generation, well, the old generation, and and, and, and you know, and, and, and current generations, to screen your screen your music, man. Know what garbage is. You know, know what's good between uh, 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 a Bentley and a and Brand X. You know, know the difference. I mean, if you like garbage, hey, support it. But if you want quality, if you want to support quality, don't put this garbage out. It's quality. Don't confuse people. You know, it's easy to people are easily brainwashed when it comes to radio. You know, if it sells a million copies, hey, it must be good. You know? No, it's not that's not the case, man. Great talent and great music comes from the road less travel. And that's something that I've I've done, man. I've I've been true to my essence from the very beginning. And um I, I caught a lot of heat over that over the years because I wouldn't follow the path of what everybody else was doing or jump on the bandwagon. Nah, 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 that's that's not me. I can't do that. You know? The minute you're not true to yourself no more, you can't get that back. It's really hard to redeem yourself after not being true to yourself. So I encourage everybody to be true to yourself. Keep doing that good music. You know, like Michael Michael is a true artist. Be true, no matter what the genre. Be true in hip hop. Be true in R and B. Be true in, 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 in metal. Be true in pop. The key word is to be true. That's the bottom line. And if you're true to that, you always have a fan base, you always have support, and you always have the realness inside your soul. So I just wanted to break that down, man. This is my little beat vlog here that I'm going to say once in a blue moon on, on YouTube or on the internet. So if you like what I'm saying, and if you think what, I, what, what I'm saying it, um, has some type of validity or merit to it, then please post your comments up on YouTube about what I'm saying right now. Start a forum on it, you know, because I'm anti-whack. I'm against this whack stuff, and there's a lot coming out there, and it shouldn't be. I'm ready to bring the real hip hop back. You know, I'm ready to run the front lines and bring that real essence of hip hop back. 